Blackburn uh, 06 Sonata, I believe it covered from 96, 98, all the way to 2006 and the 2007, the tensioners are a bit different, so uh, had a water leak, we confirmed that it's coming from the water pump, that's how I removed the pump over, not a big deal, just like that, you can either remove this bracket and remove it after, <coughs> or you can, you can just um, remove it like I did, it's held by um, four size 10 bolts this bracket goes here on the oops on that side so after that we just want to remove those side bolts those are 17 and that ground is a size 10 so I'm gonna remove those okay before you we remove this we need to put a jack in the car on the air it's a jack stand under very important don't forget about that then we have the jack holding the uh, the engine so I'm gonna remove those bolts as you guys can see I removed the bolts 10 for the ground bolt two nuts there and this one that way we can just remove the bracket and the reason to remove that first is that now we can lift the engine and get to get better access to those size 8 bolts for the water pump pulley okay so before we go to this um, bolts for the pulley we, over here is the tensioner, the tension for the, the, the bolt that holds tension for the alternator. We're gonna break it loose and then we're gonna remove this bolt and this one so we can remove the bracket. Okay, so first, with this bolt right here, you, you need to break the tension first and then loosen up this bolt here on the back. That's how you're gonna release the tension from the, from the alternator, okay? So that way we can remove the bolt. Okay, once you have it like that, you can just either pull the belt or pull the alternator here. Just like so. And you can remove the belt. Very important. You're not replacing the belt. Like I say, very important. You're not replacing the belt. In this case, I am replacing the belts because they're pretty bad. You need to mark the rotation of the belt because when you put it back the wrong way, the other way that it was rotating is going to be squeaking or making noise. So after you remove that sorry guys i forgot one crucial step because uh, a guy just pulled in and told me to check his car and i totally forgot about this step before you remove the belt make sure you break loose those if you, if you cannot do it or you forgot to do it just so grab a piece of cardboard um, get some pliers but try to get the pulley from here no no not from the edges hold it with the pliers and, and break it loose I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, but at least I'm gonna try <clears throat> something like this. Okay. There it is. So like that but like i said try to do it before you remove the the belt i want to show you guys this is the reason we remove the motor mount first because you lift that engine as much as you can and you have pretty the bolts for the pump are pretty accessible from here right now so now i have access to this size 12 bolts i'm going to remove it and that way i can remove the bracket well I'll just pull it back Okay, we removed the tire, now we come to the bottom. We need to remove this cover. So I'll buy one, two, three, size 10 bolts. Okay, we lowered the engine. Now to release the tension on the belt, you need to loosen up this one. Like that. After you get it loose, then you break loose this one. And that's how you release the tension for the belt. Okay, so. The more they turn this one on the back, they lower the, the pulley is gonna get an easier for you to remove the belt. Okay, now we're gonna remove the bolt, crank pulley bolt. I just uh, seven eight, and I do have a puller, but if you don't, just one hand here, one on the other one, wiggle it back and forward, and at the same time pull, and it should pop right out. If not, just Walk, uh, hit it with a rubber mallet a little bit on the sides 
around just to get it to break it loose and then start wiggling it okay okay i actually didn't use my puller i just wiggle it just uh, remove this cover and don't forget the orientation where it goes see how it goes to put it back exactly here's a lower time belt cover so we got one two three four five bolts and this one is better if you just lift the engine with the chuck and then grab it from top so now we're gonna check our timing marks we're gonna put the, the engine on the TDC um, if, you, if you guys can see uh, we need to actually actually this one says up and there should be a mark right here on the back and we should align it with it and those marks are because those marks are supposed to align here with the with the head um, it's the ball cover so one should be there one there or mark should be up and then the uh, the crumb pulley mark should be also on the there's a little notch there so I want to show you in a little bit okay this pulley hat was had two white marks one here and one here but I'm removing this one because this one has like a little mark there notch and we should align it with the fancy that notch that right there so we should align that one okay you guys can see my marks aligned there the mark that was previously there aligns with the notch there and fortunately for me I didn't have to turn the crank too much too much uh, hopefully you guys can see there see to the hole we can see the red mark there well you guys can see is there should be a red mark there well it's hard to see oh yeah right there so that mark right there is aligned with the hole there and like I say if you check this mark it's uh kind of aligned with the if you put a credit card here it aligns with the white mark there this is like the Honda ones the Honda Civics and the Quarter the four-cylinder the older ones they also have those things to align with the with the cover so pretty much we're there so now I'm gonna loosen up the the tensioner to remove the belt if you're not comfortable doing this just with the mark you can just put a, a big rod or screwdriver there and have someone rotate the crank and once you see the the, the, the screwdriver or the whatever you put on the you need to remove the spark plug first uh, you see that goes up before you start going down for that you will need someone else to help you that's how you know you're a TDC on uh, oh, I, need to see. I, I forgot how it's called but yeah you're not comfortable there well I wasn't gonna mark this but I'm gonna mark it so you I, I this gonna give uh, to give you a tip also so I'm gonna give you a tip if, if this is your first time that you're doing this okay like I said if this is your first time doing the timing bell uh, you can just do your own marks this is not gonna be for the timing you mark your pulley you mark the belt to two, two marks on top see there there and you come to the bottom and do one more and so you make those marks on your new belt so when you put your new belt uh, you know where your marks are you know just uh don't get don't i uh, don't use the same white up for the same color that you want to use for the markings on the on the for the timing so these markings will be mostly for the belt so you know how many you need to come the how many tooth or teeth uh, you need to mark those put those marks on and that's uh just to make sure you this is the first time that you do this okay okay i removed the tensioner now we can remove this one uh, like i believe it's a 12 for the 12 14 with that that one and this one so we can remove there and get to the water pump okay i removed the size 14 bolt that was there and now we can remove the bracket we can now remove the timing belt and like i say uh, you make those marks you're new what you first time you're gonna do it make those marks and just as you see 
the marks are gonna stay there and those marks are for your belt not for the timing so yeah okay this bracket has one more size 12 bolt here right there so I'm just gonna grab it I mean remove it and remove the bracket with it I'm gonna tell you guys this bolt was actually a size 14 and you grab it once you remove it just push the alternator this way and now we have access to the pulley on the bottom so we can remove the water pump okay now I'm removing the lower idler pulley uh, it gave me some trouble I had to use a breaker bar size 14 bolt so I'm gonna remove that and then I'll start removing the water pump okay for the pump you guys can see where it started failing start dripping there so it's got the bolt on the bottom one two then we have that one this two down one and the old one lower let me give it a better look on the back on the bottom so we have this one down one this is gonna be one two and three uh just these ones just you can just take them off sometimes the water pumps have different size bolts so you're not sure of that just uh, when you remove a bolt from the pump, put it on the new pump. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna break it loose. So, so when and uh, and turn it out a little bit. And we got these two. I'm gonna remove, and that one I'm gonna leave it on at least halfway. So when I uh, pull the pump, uh, just the antifreeze don't go flying everywhere, splashing everywhere. So you guys can see, I just stopped the water pump a little bit with the ratchet. So the cold, the enemy first start coming out. Okay guys, I didn't think it was gonna be necessary to remove the bracket, but it is. It blocks that pump from coming down from the bottom. So there's one bolt there, 14, and then one here, and then that one on the bottom. So it has two, three, two on the left side, one on the front side. Okay guys, I ran into an issue. The card, it says on the sticker, and the VIN number it says 2006 so the lady brought me the timing kit from AutoZone for uh, 2006 2.0 and it happens that uh, it was made after the six months so it, it's, it's just it's actually it's 2007 so the tension has changes there but uh, it's basically the same procedure to to do the timing belt except this one you set up different you set it up differently for this one you just put it back in place and then you to put the tension on the belt once you you you, you kind of left i leave the bolt uh don't don't, don't tight it like really uh hard a lot leave it just there finger finger tight and then um you turn down with an allen key you turn it counterclockwise 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 and that's what's gonna put tension to the belt so now I gotta go to gotta go change the kit so just wanted to let you guys know that it's uh, it ended up being um, 2007 out of 2006 so okay just wanna show you guys I lifted the engine with the jack so I can clean there in the process of cleaning there so okay I had cleaned there let's say cool it's nice now so I'm just gonna clean a little bit more with some sandpaper and that's gonna be I'm just gonna wait for the part to arrive okay guys I want to show you uh, this is what I thought I was doing 96206 Lantra it'll be the same for the 1.8 2.0 1.8 2.0 Tiburon Lantra so so you guys can see here how the tensioner is different I'm gonna run it see there should be a timing marks there like I said the notch there the lines there then the hole here and like I said um, let me show you the marks again 
over here those marks usually uh that's just another way to make sure you have you have it right on the spot uh those lines those uh those uh little marks on the on the cam pulley uh they're supposed to align with the head there and here just like the like the hondas uh so so that's the i thought that we were doing that one 96 to 06 but actually we're doing this one it's uh 2007 to 2011 as you guys can see uh here's the torque and you guys can see the difference on this one it's pretty much the same except for the the tensioner this one has nothing on the back and this one actually goes into the block this part right here you actually and uh, goes into the block and the other one doesn't so uh, also the the block has a little like a dent there so for those um, for those tensioner like brackets or whatever to to attach there but as we can see the timing marks are exactly the same right there and there so and this one is telling you about the red mark right here so oh, I got this book guys it, uh, so it covers all the weights from 96 to 2011 so if you guys need some instructions for any of the car that is under 2011 you know send me it um, send me uh, as long as it's timing belts not timing chains I can send you some pictures and the instructions instructions on how to do it so if you need it for any of your cars you have a car that you're looking for the instruction to replace the timing belt let me know okay guys I'm done cleaning there looks nice just got to still waiting for the part it's been 30 minutes about and having the right we, we're in the 07 Elantra uh, the um, park took about two three hours to to arrive I went to do another job and my phone dies sorry i don't know if i'm gonna be able to put it put the whole video together if not this is just gonna be how i set up the timing you remember for those people who are new and never done a timing um when you get your timing marks you know you can i, I told you to this is only for the people who does has never done a timing belt okay so you, you do some marks there for your timing belt and then you do one more in the crank for the for the for the crank uh, on the bottom for the crank I'm sorry okay so I installed the the pulley the idler pulley uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's supposed to be a uh, 20 pounds the torque spec so you remember I told you also to make a mark here on the bottom it's for your crank see the mark there and this one or Tommy marks on this side so and I'm gonna say one more time, these timings are not for, those marks I made are not for the, for the timing. These are just for, so you can kind of know where your uh, belt is supposed to be. You make those marks on the old belt and then you just come that teeth and put it together. So, have it there. So you put your marks here, then you leave the, the belt out of the, put out of the idler. You come to the bottom. And put your mark in there and you guys can see yeah right there so the mark is fine there there and then you just pull your belt to the push it to the idler the idler goes on torque at 20 pounds you come here and that's how we verify the our belt is in the pretty much the same spot where we when we took it so you're gonna be using the same tensioner um, well this is a new tensioner this is what you gotta do get a, a pin or a, that's only you're gonna be reusing the tensioner uh, you actually have to try to go with one hand push it there push it like that and, and get a allen wrench or, or a pin or something there okay once you have it there just like the new one
you kind of put it through there like that and those uh, like claws or the, this bracket has to land inside the inside here just these two right here okay so you don't have to remove the pin you go around the belt like that it's hard to do with one hand so I'm gonna do it and I'll show you in a little bit okay guys uh, to call someone to help me hold the phone so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of push this and once you have it there make sure the bolt goes in and smoothly but at the same time you have to make sure you have to make sure those two things go in there see once you have them there you can start um, pushing the or tightening the bolt okay I wanted to show you the um, torque spec for the idler and the tensioner is 20, 17 to 20 pounds and uh, remember timing mark and uh, this is where your arrow should be when you with the tensioner it should be between it should be right about there so that's why it's important to, to put a pin there or something okay so not hard you just push it okay we just need to make sure our marks are still there uh, we have that one there need to make sure our lines are there the um, top is the timing mark right there the notch with the white mark and as you guys can see our mark for the belt it's there so I already torqued the tensioner so now I'm just gonna remove the pin there it is it fell to the floor but it's there and as you guys can see the mark for the tension is right on the spot so, oh, wow. good tension on the belt so I'm gonna put the 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 the, the bolt on the on the on the crack pulley and I'm gonna turn it twice uh, to make sure the, the timing line the timing marks align okay I turned it twice we can see our marks are still there now you don't have to now the marks for the belt and these marks are not gonna match so you don't have to worry about that so we're gonna start the car and see what happens okay guys I'm gonna turn on the car remember it has no motor mount so it may hear bumpy okay turn it on so, okay turn it off so we're good there so we're done hope this video will help you not very hard to do so thank you for watching uh, remember this video is here because it's easy and you can help do, uh, do it yourself and save some money so thank you for watching